O.J. Simpson dead at 76. The Simpson family shared a statement via social media. O.J. Simpson has died. The former NFL great was 76 years old. His family announced the news via social media statement on Thursday, April 11, revealing that he passed away the day before in Las Vegas due to cancer. He had previously opened up on X formerly Twitter about his medical condition with the disease, uploading a video in Feb. Refuting claims that he was in hospice, Simpson was undergoing chemotherapy treatment at the time. On April 10, our father, Orenthal James Simpson, succumbed to his battle with cancer. He was surrounded by his children and grandchildren. During this time of transition, his family asks that you please respect their wishes for privacy and grace. The Simpson family, the note read. Simpson's attorney also confirmed his death to TMZ. The Football Hall of Famer, who was embroiled in controversy, became most notable for being accused of the double murder of his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and her friend, Ron Goldman, in the 1990s. Simpson was detained on June 17, 1994, following a prolonged, low-speed police chase that was broadcast live on TV stations worldwide. He stood trial for over 11 months after the incident in what many legal experts dubbed the trial of the century, only to later be acquitted after jurors returned not guilty verdicts on both counts of murder on October 3, 1995. His legal team notably was comprised of powerhouse attorneys of the time, Robert Shapiro and the late Johnny Cochran, Robert Kardashian, and F. Lee Bailey. Though he was acquitted of murder, he found himself in legal trouble again 10 years later, when Simpson was arrested in Las Vegas for felony armed robbery and kidnapping. He was found forcing men to return memorabilia he'd claimed they'd stolen from him. During an incident that took place inside the Palace Station Hotel and Casino in 2007, the case went to trial, and in 2008, he was convicted and sentenced to 33 years in prison. After serving just shy of nine years of that sentence at the Lovelaw Correctional Center, he was released on October 1, 2017. Prior to being involved in multiple controversies, he was hailed as a legend in both college and professional football, having played for the Buffalo Bills and San Francisco for nine years during his professional football career. Nicknamed Juice, Simpson became the first NFL player to rush for more than 2,000 yards in a single season in 1973, and to this day holds the record for the single season yards per game average, 143.1. He was the only player to ever rush for over 2,000 yards in the 14 game regular season NFL format and was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame with the 1983 class. After retiring, he went on to become a football announcer and sportscaster and actor. In his personal life, he welcomed five children, Arnale, Jason and Aaron Simpson with ex-wife Marguerite Whitley, and Sidney and Justin Simpson with the late aforementioned Nicole Brown Simpson.